Hello, everybody. Welcome from Rabat, Morocco. My name is Munyan Gott, and I'm a teacher of English as a foreign language. I teach English to students of various levels and age groups at the American Language Center in Rabat. Morocco is a country in North Africa, bordering the Atlantic Ocean from the west and Mediterranean Sea from the north. Rabat is the capital city of Morocco, located on the Atlantic Ocean and at the mouth of the Bouragreg River. About two months ago or so, I was in class having a discussion with my kids, aged between 10 and 12. We were talking about the importance of water in our life. So, is water always clean? You yeah. say here, water? Along the discussion, always... kids brought up issues such as water waste and pollution, and how it is our duty as humans to conserve and depollute water. Because, like little Hiba spontaneously expressed, water is life. When one little girl expressed a wish to see where and how polluted water gets cleaned to become usable again, I immediately thought of my younger sister, who happens to be an environmentalist engineer working at the official water and electricity provider within the Rabat region and surroundings. With the help of my director and guidance from my sister, we managed to organize a field trip for two of our kids' classes from the American Language Center towards a depollution station in Sghirat, a city in the suburbs of Rabat. We faced quite a few challenges while trying to put together this field trip or follow-up activities. First, the ALC is not a regular school. We are a language center that students choose as an extracurricular activity. Our kids' classes meet once a week and for only two hours. Also, with the overlap of our kids' schedules at school and office hours at the pollution station, it was not easy for us to find a suitable time for all to make our field trip possible. On our way to the station, Kids read and discussed a text I brought on board on water pollution. Once at the station, the manager was really good because he kept asking our kids questions to elicit information from them rather than giving it away. The kids displayed a high level of curiosity. They asked questions and contributed suggestions to the how and why things were done one way or another. After the oral exchange, came the physical visit of the site outside. Here, kids showed their observation skill. They were very attentive, watching and smelling around. We kept moving ahead while kids continued to observe and connect to the natural world. When we reached the drying bed of mud, kids noted growing plants, and the station manager asked them an interesting question. He asked if any of them knew what those plants were and why they were growing there. Someone noted they were probably tomato seeds. The drying bed with plants was a perfect example of how organic waste can be recycled by turning into a fertilizer. This activity includes the local scale. The station is located in the city of Sghirat and is responsible for the depollution of used water within the city. I believe this local experience for our kids is also an eye-opener to similar stations nationwide or worldwide, therefore including the regional and global scales. The main perspective included in this activity is ecological, as the main objective of our visit is to see how polluted water is filtered and treated to be safely reused in nature. The first class after our trip was very interesting, because kids could not talk about anything else. They were so excited and eager to share what they learned. I brought some prompts to class and kids took turns to share information about what they learned at the station. Here came the communication First, skills. There is mud down. Mm -hmm. After there is not very clean water, but it's here and up there is gas. Good. Of the rocks, they use the big things on the of uh, the, the rock. And then they use the medium filter to filter the small parts. In this balloon, in a big one, uh, the, uh, the mud go down, the, uh, the water go in the 
center and uh, here in the top we have uh, the gas growing plants and the uh, water is recycled to water plants and the gas is recycled for electricity. Kids also felt empowered to contribute to taking action and making a positive change by raising awareness. I can say that I'm very happy with the outcomes of my Get Outside activity, both for my kids and myself. Despite our constraints with regard to time in particular, we managed to put together our field trip and learn a great deal out of it. And this is only the beginning. Thank you, Nadjio. This is Munyan Gott from Rabat, Morocco. And this was my capstone.